Hey y'all, how you doing? All right, look, I'm gonna do a uh, video here. It's gonna be about exactly the one thing that determines and guarantees your success in anything in life, anything. Um, and right now I'm pimping a pink polo. Yes, it's pink, because I can do it. <laughs> anyway, it's back to the point. Um, look, all right, look, this one thing here, um, I'm gonna reveal towards the end, so stick with me here. Um, it not only guarantees your success, but also can guarantee your failure. And it's just one thing. And this one thing follows you from pretty much your whole life. When you're in school, sports, uh, your job, relationships, anything. Some of you may already know what it is, others of you may not have a clue. But as I look back to, you know, my life and what I've been through, my success and failures and, um, you know, how we're all brought up in society, after knowing this, had I known this earlier in life, I would have been a lot more successful and, more importantly, would have made a lot more better decisions, you know. Um, and this is one that you can see in anything in life, just anything. A um, great example would be of um, Abraham Lincoln. Because you know him. A lot of people don't know. I didn't know this. Or I didn't know this at all. Um, it's the fact that this this guy failed a lot. Um, he went through a period of about. I want to say you can Google this too. I, don't quote me on this, but it was like years of like failure and struggle. Years, years, like seventeen years of some shit before he finally became the president of the United States. And then the country had a civil war. So good time to have success makes sense to me. But now as you remember in history, 17 years, I want to say, um, maybe yeah, 17 years, I want to say at least 10. Some, it was a long time. Most people would be like, fuck this, I quit. Um, but just being perseverant to a T and not giving up. And uh, that, that one thing is the one thing that helped them pretty much to get, to get where he wanted to be eventually. Um, this president, president of the United States. Here's the one thing. The one thing that virtually uh, guarantees your success or your failure, depending on how you see and what you believe, is you. Yes, you. You, you, and all you. Now, some of you may get offended and may get angry by that. Um, and that's okay, because when you first hear this, it's a little rough. It kind of hurts because here's the thing. In our society, we're all raised to be victims. It's true. We're taught to blame others, blame the economy, blame the president, blame the interest rates, the fees. It's 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 someone else's fault. Why I can't succeed. It's this. It's that. It's whatever else. And it's that's what we're told. But here's the thing. When you take responsibility for your actions and realize that your success and failure is created and caused by you and only you, it's liberating because guess what? If you created something, you can create something else that you want just as fast, if not faster, than what you did to screw than what you did to screw your life up. You understand that? It's called empowering yourself. This is what I'm talking about. When you accept the fact that and take responsibility, 100 100% um, responsibility for everything that happens in your life, your life will change. Because if you're the cause of it, guess what? You can be a solution of it. You're not just giving your power up to something else. Because guess what? When you're a victim. You know, you, know, you know what it is? Oh, it's not your fault. It's okay. It was a trauma. It was this. It's the government. They make it, and you're told it's because it's saying that you have no power or control in your life. And that's not the case. You have so much power you don't know about it. But that's a whole new story I'm going into. point is this. You are the person. You're the only thing that will determine your success or failure. Now, you may have been in some other, you know, network marketing company or some other job that pretty much grew up, and it happens. Granted, um, you know, people do get do get themselves in, in, into situations um, that really, you know, truly true their fault that, that they don't know about. You know, some network marketing companies are out there who really don't give a shit about their distributors. The people who form these companies just, just want to make a quick buck, and they leave you. That does happen. But here's the thing. The people who have been in, have, who have been in, have, who have been in those situations, who have been in screwed up home based businesses, or those of you who have been at jobs or work for companies that really don't give a shit about you and lay you off, that you know really it's really not your fault there. But here's the thing: people, the people that have been through those situations more than once and now have success, 
And they didn't let that stop them. They could have been like, well, I didn't have sex because I got laid from this. I didn't have sex because I didn't have sex because because this company just did this. They could have, and it's a pretty good excuse. But the thing is, they realized that no. They said, I'm not gonna let this stop me. I'm gonna be successful. I don't care what it takes. And they kept having that belief and that attitude, which they did. Same thing with President Lincoln. Even though at one point he did he did go through a period of like six months of having a nervous breakdown. But he continued, he said, basically, if you think about it, he told himself that he's going to be successful no matter what. And that's what you can tell yourself. That's people who have been through challenge after challenge after challenge. They say, you know what, no, I'm not going to stop me. I'm going to make this work. I'm going to be successful because I am successful. And they believe that. And then what happens? They have success. Kind of funny that what you believe tends to happen. Hmm, hint. Anyways, look, if you want success in life, the only person, not thing, not an obstacle, not event, the only person who will stop you in life will be you. So, get out of your own way and choose to make a decision to have success. Tell yourself, I can do this, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do whatever it takes, that's it, period. And with that to change, life will change, because it has to. So that's all I got for now. Hey, comment, share, discuss, subscribe. Check out my blog below. Talk to y'all soon. Peace.